Hello guys, it's your boy Moose, and we're back with another video, and a really, really long video. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to uh, beat Built to Survive on hard mode. Yes, this will be really long, as you can see due to the video's length, but yeah, let's get right onto the video. And also, I'm just going to say this for a fact, guys, um, thank you all for 50 subs. Um, glad to see I've finally grown to 50 subs. Let's see if we can get 100 next. First thing you're going to want to do is place down four lemonade cats and then place down some sparks in this kind of order. You can skip the wave, buy down some bricks, three primarily. Place down the sparks right here. Now, of course, there might be the bricks there and yeah, they might try and like break it. The bricks have 500 health, they only do like one damage per hit, so you'll be absolutely fine. You might take a little bit of damage, but obviously that is fine by all means. It's fine if you can take a little bit of hits like that. Obviously you do have 500 health, so like nothing really to worry about as well. After most of them are cleared out, skip the wave. Buy another spark to kill a lot, and then place down a set of spikes, like so. Try to see if you can buy more sparks to kill a lot. See so if you can get up to the max limit, which you will need, by the way. You'll need all max of spark kilowatts. Actually, this map is no locking, man. This map is really hard, man. Anyways, after you feel like most of them have gone close, skip the wave. Obviously, don't skip yet. Wait for them to, like, die also, because that's a lot of them, so obviously. And, of course, the spikes are here to help you at, all, at any time. So, yeah. As you can see, I now have max sparks. You're gonna want to kind of, like, build another wall like this. I really like the music theme in this map. It's really, sp it's really relaxing. Anyways, again, do what you did last time and then wait a little. Obviously, now you have a lot of sparks to kill a lot, so that one damage can basically be equivalent to like more than like 20, basically. Now, most of them clear out. Um, you might have to wait a little because you're gonna place a little bit more walls now. Just like this. This is the wall placement you're gonna keep for now, and then you can like keep on farming and get some of your lemonade cats up. But you can just keep this up for now because you only need like five spikes for the time being. So yeah, it'll be absolutely fine. zombies obviously still not a problem since you have the spikes up even with level one sparks you'll be able to be fine even though these enemies have 50 health yeah also i want to tell you guys something my birthday is tomorrow yeah august 24th is my birthday and i'm still not going to reveal my age you guys can probably guess that i'm just going to say this i'm not a child i'm not in like 
eight years old. I'm not a brainwashed Gibbity Toilet fan, obviously. I don't watch uh, the amazing Lanky Box, you know. But yeah, my birthday's tomorrow, guys. I'll probably post another video. I don't know what video I'll post. I don't actually. What should I post? I'm not gonna post like a video of me like celebrating my birthday. I wanna post like. Well, I wanna keep posting like content because I wanna be consistent with my content grind. Why am I just moving around like that? Alright, nice. Again, you will take a couple of hits from this. So obviously, you will be fine. Because you know you have 500 base health. Skip the wave now. Now, of course, don't buy the last lemonade cat to level 2. And instead, to prevent even more each, please try and like get your sparks kilowatts up to level 2. Get at least like two of them up, basically. Again, wait a little for the zombies to come by. Obviously, you're not skipping instantly because if you if you get if you like try to skip like a lot in this map, you'll probably get like berated by zombies. So yeah, obvious reason why you would have why this map is like a really long thing to do. So yeah, I am. Why am I lagging so much? I'm getting like delayed and stuff. Keep upgrading your sparks kilowatts. I think there's something wrong with my kilowatts. Playing on like the, my laggy version, so I don't know why. Again, keep upgrading your sparks kilowatts until all of them are level two. I don't know why it keeps on lagging that much. like make this a little bit more soothing and like increase the music volume a little guys you know just in case let me move my mic also a little bit closer to my face because i don't think you guys can hear it that much anyways again once most of them start clearing by you can skip the wave Anyways, now that you have all of them at um, level 2, you can start to upgrade your farms again. Why does it take so long? Oh, this map is really long, man. That's so boring as well. But I'm always dedicated to keep going on a map like this. Again. I'm gonna place down two spikes kind of like this. Because the enemies obviously are getting stronger. You get a level 3 Lemonade Cat, even though they're getting stronger. So I don't know what they're on about when they say it's getting stronger. I guess they mean like they get like different health scaling now, 54 and 11. I mean, hey, that's not much of a difference. For the Ice Zombies, that's definitely a big difference. But still, it'll be fine. 
basically they have to walk through one, two, three, four, five spike traps. And also sparks kill a lot, doing three damage from each of these. Um, with a big rate, yeah, you can expect these to die in like two seconds. I don't even touch a spike. This one did, but still, that one didn't touch it. When you get two lemonade cats to level three, start placing down a new wall placement. Kind of like this. Just to make sure they come in from the behind. Yes, this looks really sus. Don't worry about it. And for base design. This is so the enemies can like loop through like a hole like here. And yeah, you'll be absolutely fine. Because I know the sparks go out. We'll have like a good range boost at some point. You should like all the way over here. So if they were to like go in here. Yeah. See what I'm trying to do? And obviously we have really stupid zombies like this, which kind of piss me off. I'm gonna walk on the spike. Useless. I guess I'll just break my wall down. That's fine. Oh my god. They try and break your wall down, just replace it. You should have extra mana anyways from the amount of zombies that spawn. Just, just like open that wall up. Oh, they're breaking. I'm trying to like open this up. Just keep breaking the wall over here. Oh my god, that's a lot of ice zombies. Well, I guess you can just buy another lemonade cut. But yeah. If they like keep trying to break your wall repeatedly, sell the wall I guess, and then just wait until like the round ends basically. Wait until they most of them click her out. And now you can do it. Oh, did not mean to place that down, it doesn't really matter. Here comes the ghost zombie. Luckily the ghost zombie is not scary. Try and place some more of your spikes down. Not gonna lie, I would imagine the, like the mental image people are getting. Let's see how much half the ghost zombie has. This is like 32, I think. Not so much of a threat. Sure, they definitely move a little bit more faster than the other zombies, but it's fine. They have to go through all this loop now. Let's see how much they have to walk through. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's a hundred health basically. So yeah, we're fine. They basically can't leak through now. Of course, they'll stay like this until the explosive zombies come, which are really annoying. And I think anyone that's played this map can agree with me. What kind of sucks is I haven't gotten a Conehead zombie yet. I want to get the Conehead zombie follower. I like that follower. The goofy looking follower. I also like the fact that it's a plant for zombies. Um reference in its description skip the wave when most of them clear get one lemonade cut to level four and get another one at level four obviously your defense is still fine so you'll be fine trying to defend against them is really easy man oh by the way um pro tip when the explosive zombies try to come um they explode like a really important wall like let's just say something like the back i suggest you replace that as fast as you can but it's something like the front let's say like something like 
this side or like this side. Oh, why am I lagging so much? I don't get why I'm lagging. Or also like something like this over here. It's kind of like kind of fine. It's not really as important. Of course, this one in the middle is obviously important, but you're going to be placing new walls at some point. So yeah. Not gonna lie, like I was when I did my first, when I did like my last run in Build to Survive when I was trying to do hard mode. When I did like my last one, which is basically like my completed run of Build to Survive, I made like some really cool like pixel art kind of. It's what I like to do on Build to Survive. It's kind of fun. Anyway, since you're not really struggling as much, you can just keep getting all your farms to level four. But obviously, this is where you're going to want to stop for now, and I'll show you what your placement should be like. They should go like uh, through this side, so I'll show you the walls in a bit. Just to make sure they all come in like one location and they're able to split up. It, it helps to like the sparks if they like go through like one path first, kind of. Oh, why am I lagging so much? Like, I'm not, I'm not jump spamming right now. Keyboard's off. So laggy. Look how delayed, but like it's so delayed. I don't know if you guys see this on your screen, but like for me, it's really delayed. Here, I guess we'll turn off smooth visuals for now. Or we'll turn on smooth visuals for now. I guess to reduce lag. It might be something on my recording because it never happens when I'm on my recording. Probably my network received though. I don't know why my network is getting so bad all of a sudden. I have to get it changed. Like a new one. I have like a really, really old router from a uh, bell. So yeah, that kind of sucks. Skipped away. Actually, hold on, wait for these guys. I just realized. Now you can kind of like skip the wave. Alright. Now as you can see, uh, the zombies are supposed to now go in here. You should upgrade your two of the kilowatts at the front to level 3. Because you're going to want to do this because when the explosive zombies or when the lava zombies come, you are going to need as much DPS in range as possible. And also I hate the fact that they stun as well. So yeah, kilowatts is really important on this. And also Quinn is really good. Because Quinn has like that range. So you can basically like one shot anything. Of course you only have to get like three of them to level three. So no worries. Would this reach here? No, it'd probably reach. Alright. I mean, this is almost turning into the shape of a heart now that I realize it. It's just like this thing in the, like, right here messes up. From like a view, like it doesn't really seem like it. Obviously, they're gonna try and destroy the wall. They probably will at some point. Which kinda sucks. You have to all trying to destroy the wall. Yeah, this wall is no hope. I really should not have done, done that. It's fine if you do that or not. It's not really a waste of money. It's only like 200 mana, so it's not that much. Obviously, they won't destroy something like these walls in the front, so you're absolutely fine. So I guess you can just sell them. And obviously, if you hear explosions, most of them could probably come from kilowatt, but if there's like a higher pitch explosion, like as for example, I have like, um, pretty like, um, I like, I like, lowered the attack volume basically of the kilowatts so basically the rockets are like a little bit s slightly like less noisier than the normal rocket so yeah so if you're like a louder explosion when you have like attack down it's probably an explosive zombie oh my god this is gonna have to take so long i'm just gonna skip the wave at this point you can get your first max level lemonade cat Let's see, do explosives come? Because I'm going to tell you the next strategy. 
absolutely no explosives. So explosives come probably next wave if I have to guess. So you can buy one last lemonade. You can buy another lemonade cat for uh, level five. As you can see, already wave 16, it's been like 20 minutes in. That's how long this map takes. Now what we're gonna wanna do now that you have a pretty good amount of farms up, you're gonna wanna place your stuff like this. Am I Spectre muted? Okay, it's really good. You're gonna place Spectre and Balloon Pile kinda like this. My bad for doing that um emote or that um sticker. Again, wait until most of them clear. So I just realized that's like no normal zombies kind of. That was like zero to none, I could not tell at all. Anyway, oh, the lag. Right, level two Spectre, and you're gonna get, and you're gonna, you're gonna wanna get Balloon Pile to level four. So you can heavily buff the range. Let's see, do explosives even come this way? Even if they don't come, it's still suggested to get this. Oh, there's a normal zombie. And no explosives yet. You're still fine, but like again, you're gonna want the range just in case. The range helps out a lot. It's, a, it's, a, it's a also like the damage as well, the Spectre. 25% means a lot when you think about it. It means more than uh, normally. Obviously, you just want to keep Balloon Pot level 4 for now. What you're going to want to do, I guess, is either... Let's see, well, let's see what happens, and I'll see if we either go for all level 3 Sparks, or we go for Max Lemonade Cats. Because, you know, you never know what could happen. I'm only at 398 health right now. You would probably be, like, a different, either higher or lower. There's no way you'd be under, like, 300, though. I don't think you would be that much when, like, doing this. But, yeah, this almost looks like a heart when you think about it. It's like a, it's like a, um, it's like a chunky heart. Just searching up something up guys my bad now here come the explosive enemies so yeah now that these guys come this wave you better be upgrading all of your sparks kilowatts to a uh, level three now hopefully you didn't actually like buy level five of an eight cat while i was like checking something anyways uh yeah these guys have a uh, like a hundred something health and they're really painful to deal with because i hate their stupid explosions First one down. Of course, I had to explode one brick. Stupid, annoying zombies. I hate these zombies the most. Show that they only like break some of your walls. And again, make sure you have extra mana to replace it. Because like there are a lot of explosive zombies that try and rape your, that try and like raid your base. And as you can see, my bricks are already getting so low. There goes my, one of my bricks. One of my bricks are probably gonna die any second now. Just like this one. Replace that. Replace that. Replace that. Replace that. Should sure replace this already. Right, replace these two. You'll do probably do a lot of replacing in this. It's really annoying, but you'll have to get used to it when you have to deal with this map. Now 
Um, if you don't have to get all of your kilowatts to level 3, I'm not suggested. Also, by the way, don't spend this mana yet on Lemonade Cat. Wait, you want to wait just so you can make sure you replace your walls. Because trust me, if you don't replace your walls, you would probably get overloaded by like 10,000 zombies and you would die. So yep, remember to always replace your walls during these waves. Of course, hopefully there won't be as much explosive zombies that come up and appear now. Checking up on the bricks. Obviously, they're getting really low. Luckily, the br luckily the zombies come from this way, so they absolutely avoid like at the back. So that's I guess a good thing. Anyways, now that you made a couple of mana and you replace some of your walls, uh, I guess you can go ahead and max the last lemonade cat. You will still have at least enough money from the zombies. At where you can rip oh my god he just destroyed so much of my walls let's see like imagine if i didn't have mana there and the wave didn't end yet i'd be so screwed oh i hate this map this map is the worst i really dislike this map it's so bad man These stupid zombies this one's about to die Make sure you always double check on your bricks, by the way, guys. Oh, now that we have max lemonade cats, we can start getting um, your things up, your sparks kilowatts up. We're gonna want to save up for max level balloon pal for obviously that amazing range, the uh, double the range. You know, double the range, double the um, damage somehow. I don't know how, but somehow double the damage. I mean, hey, the only thing that gives you really double the damage is Spectre, but hey, who cares? Oh god, I did not notice that. Well, uh, that might be really, really bad. Well, luckily, I think you'll be able to deal with it. But then again, replace the walls. So even if they keep on breaking it now, just keep replacing it. Because trust me, you will need to replace this. If you just like leave it like that, the enemies will probably leak through. And it'll actually get like near explosive zombies will actually get like kind of like near the thing so yeah waiting for this one to explode yep no surprise still keep an eye on the ones at the back oh oh this is amazing isn't it luckily the ones at the back are still doing fine of course these ones aren't because these stupid annoying pieces of shit keep breaking my walls all right of course i guess just keep upgrading your kilowatts until like the next intermission also also be careful to, like save your mana don't spend your like mana in an instant when a wave ends because i'm going to show you the next thing you're gonna need you're gonna need to build Get all of the bricks i guess fine now Yep, all of the bricks are in perfect condition. So that's good. Absolutely amazing. And of course, Sparks Kilowatt at level 4 gains like massive range for some reason. Go from 15 to 19.5 of Balloon Pal. So yeah, really useful. That's why Sparks Kilowatt's like really good on this map. The range is amazing. Basically keeps the explosive zombies out of range. Except for this side, which for some reason has explosions. That's not good. That's not the good. It's really bad, and just 200 health left. That's not amazing. Obviously not, the wave's almost over. I guess you can kind of like replace the walls that are nearly on life support. Nice.
luckily none of my walls are breaking. That's good. So always like what I like to see. You can kind of like skip the wave. There isn't really much zombies left. So I just realized there's a big speed boost. Let's see what the new enemy is. Where even is the new enemy? Guess there's no new. Oh yeah, this the saw zombies. These guys have like a chunky amount of health when they break your walls in like two seconds. Nah, they're not much of a big deal though. They're like side character kind of. Not really as useful. Again, it's like weight 23 at this point. You'd probably have like a good enough defense to be able to deal with these guys. Not really that hard. Thank the lord my recording has still been going after this. I swear if I stopped recording at like the most random point. Even if I stopped recording at wave 3 now, I'd be so mad. Of course, I'll probably have to use like an editor or something to edit it. But still, I'd be really, really pissed off if my thing stopped recording. Pretty sure the thing doesn't start out. I'm pretty sure, like, the building that way. Please. Oh my god, I just screwed up so bad. Uh, these guys will get here pretty soon, though, so it's absolutely fine. I'm even gonna replace these bricks here. So, this is the next path you're gonna wanna be able to build. Not mean to place that spike there. Yep, these walls should be ready. These walls are like something you don't really need to replace time to time. They're just there, just as like distraction. Because you know, kill lots have like really big range. So yeah. Breaking the head, guys. All right, yeah. Should we make it look more derpy? Make it look more derpy. And these lamps are gonna get one tap at a moment these long zombies get nearby, so yeah. Let's just make let's just make it look really dumb for now. <laughs> Finally, they're actually not attacking not getting near at all. By the time you get Quinn, Quinn's probably just gonna like one shot every single lava zombie. Nothing really to be able to like worry about. Surprisingly the lamps are still alive. Damn, W lamp. This is the power of lamps, guys. Something like lampy as well. Upgrading our kilowatts. Looks like they broke some of our walls. That kind of sucks. I showed the wrong wall. I'm not gonna lie. It really doesn't require any skill at this point. It's just like make cool art and I guess like like span your thing. So once you make like something like I did, just like you can build like any wall you want. Make sure like defense good. I'm just gonna make like my own art I guess for this. I am jumping again everywhere. I don't know why. All right. Let's just upgrade. I'm just gonna upgrade all my kilowatts to level uh five. I guess I'll put this here. I guess it makes it more realistic. <laughs> it looks really derpy, doesn't it? I mean, like move out of screen. Look at it. It looks so dumb. It looks like an Italian dude. I need to re-put that wall there. Just realized. I don't want to make it look really stupid though, so don't worry. I'll do that when I max out all my towers though. I'm not gonna lie, it's also really good that you bring Quinn for this map so that the boss doesn't take like 20 years to deal with. 
don't know why the boss has to be so slow. That's what I hate about this map as well. The boss is so, like, slow. It doesn't move fast enough. Okay, good. They didn't explode the wall yet. I must have a totally amazing thumbnail for this, by the way, guys. Trust me. I think you guys so you probably saw the thumbnail already, obviously, because you watched my video. But it's amazing, not gonna lie. It's probably gonna take a while. You know, I'd imagine this video be like 10 or 20 minutes long if I actually use like a speed up for this video. But you know, I want you guys to watch this entire thing because you guys have the worst attention spans ever. I don't care if this video gets like what, 2 or 20 views? All I just hope is I at least get like one view on this. And also, I can complete this without actually fail <laughs> failing. Also, I need to. I'm jumping. Right, there we go. Interesting how they haven't really broken my walls as much. I guess the kilowatts are actually going to work on killing them. I'm just destroying it. Oh, do I have max kilowatts? Wait, hold on. I didn't even realize. Oh, I do. Well, here comes the next thing you gotta do. Um, actually, let's see. Is there intermission right now? Let's see if there is. Yep, intermission. You can just build your walls, I guess. I'm just gonna keep building my cool design or whatever. My goofy ob design. Listen, this looks risky, I know, but trust me, man. I'll be absolutely fine. I don't think there's any chance they're even getting near. So it looks like I ran out of thing. One, two, three, one, two, three. I'll just place that there, I guess. This looks risky when you think about it. Trust me, it really isn't. I should probably not upgrade that just yet. gonna place down our quins at the back obviously we're gonna place down our quins at the back because these guys are gonna start trying to come from the back and i also need quin to one tap these guys you know luckily the kilowatts are going to work right now they're destroying them I'd imagine someone actually doing this without any walls. I think someone has done a run on that, but I'll be like, I'll even want to see that run after I do this recording. That'll be a really cool run to see. All right, I have all my quins down. Yep. I'm gonna max out the first quin. As you can see, this basically takes up nearly the entire base play, which actually would when you think about it. I moved it a little bit more to the middle. 
your cousin's the toilet zombie. Now this is not really much of a threat, should they move really fast, but still, only 1k health and you'll be able to easily deal with it. So I like how funny it looks. <laughs> yep, easily shredded by the kilowatts. Also, you should probably get your specter like level 4 by now also. And you shouldn't do that, I guess. You know, there's like a swarm of toilet zombies that are gonna like start appearing, so yeah. Toilet warriors. And obviously you all you don't really want the lava zombies getting through. Because you know you're kinda like your, your thing is like kinda in stake right now. I thought it was intermission for me. I was like so confused. Where are the zombies? I can probably replace that Quinn a little. I probably replace that Quinn. Oh, never mind. I should. Oh, yeah. Alright. Oh, wait. I guess I'll just fuck actually leave the Quinn here. It doesn't matter anyway. It's a massive range. The Quins are just sniping everything right now. I think anything, anything they really see. I'd imagine me having all the max level, having like fully max level wins. Walls. Okay, kind of are. Only one wall, technically. Intermission is like wave 32 or 33, I think. Hopefully it's wave 33 so I can actually like keep upgrading my coins and stuff. So for people wondering what skin I'm using on Quinn right now, I'm using the Grayscale skin because I have no other good skin. Apart from 100 million, but I'll like use 100 million.
chance this is taking a while, isn't it? I thought all my Quinns are ready? There's no way. Yeah, I was right. Where's that one Quinn at? I, don't, I, hate, like, I hate how they like hide through the thing. It isn't in your mission yet. Where is it? Where the hell is my Quinn? Fuck. Oh, here it is. Alright, so this is probably the last coin I have to upgrade, right? One, two, three, four, five. Five? What's the other one? There's really another Quinn. Here it is. Alright, that's where the Quinn is. I guess I'll replace that and put it like more to the side. The Builder Man's location is kind of like random, so yeah. Anyways, if you guys don't really want to like wait this long, you can probably speed up the video for yourself and the options. Cause me personally, I'm too lazy and stupid to know how to edit a video and make it faster at this point. So yeah, just I guess speed up the video. I would watch YouTube right now, but yeah, yeah. I mean, I am. I have my I have my audio on. You know, just in case. Just you guys only. Like, Board. You can hear his music in your background. So I just realized that is a lot of toilet zombies. But it's fine. I'm just gonna make them follow one path now. Imagine having to go through something like this. It's gonna be a spark to take up the, this one. This one takes up the entire thing, basically. I feel bad for the zombies that spawn like over here, over here, like at these sides. I like, have to go all the way through whatever this is. I'll keep building walls. We actually, I have to, yeah, I have to do this. Oh my god, they're breaking through. I mean, they I mean, just one shot at my walls. Oh my god. Oh, they made a wall here. I think this should work. Oh, here comes the giant zombie. Yup. Let's see, do they go through my, does it go through my wall? Does it break anything in my walls? It doesn't. Also, I should max out that one quid. Where is it? I haven't maxed your ass yet. Please don't one shot my walls. Please don't one shot my walls. Please don't one shot my walls. Thank you. Please don't one shot my walls. Please, 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 please. Alright, thank you. Oh no, it is the, it is the, te it is, it, it is the giant zombie. Oh my god. Please don't break my walls. Oh, actually, nice. Oh my god, just one shot of my wall. <laughs> oh, they're one shotting all my walls. I made a, oh, I made an error here. It's supposed to be some. I didn't even realize that. Stop breaking the wall! Also, I just realized how fast the giant zombie is. Oh my god. 
How much maintenance is up? 4,000 health, basically. This design be looking crazy. Maze. I guess I'll just upgrade the actually okay yeah spike for the max. I'll just upgrade the spike traps for no reason. Well, at this point you can just turn on auto skip. There's not really a reason if even if the walls explode at this point, it doesn't really matter. These guys have to fall like a long ass path to even get near. So yeah, you're absolutely fine to just auto skip now. Doesn't get overwhelming really. Even if they like try and get by. Why the fuck did they explode my wall? God damn it. Please don't tell me you break through. Go fuck yourself. Stop breaking my walls. Stop breaking my walls. Stop breaking my walls, you dickhead. Oh my god, they keep breaking my walls, man. I don't even care, I'll just like sell this, I guess. Sell these walls. Doesn't really matter, I'll just let them through. Now, can I, I have no clue what this, e what this is supposed to be. This looks like a curse. You know, I guess I'll actually still turn off auto skip. Well, since this is basically it, and even though Spectre is literally like, the, you don't really need to pop any ability for this. I guess I'll just go get some food. But you guys, I guess, just sit and watch. Hopefully, my all my walls don't explode, guys. Expecting more, not gonna lie. Alright. By the way, now that I think about it, I suggest you don't really skip the wave, like auto skip it. But then again, there's like a lot of toilet and giant zombies now. So, you know, you obviously don't wanna like lose instantly. Oh my god, kill me. Oh my god.
Well, I guess I'm gonna skip the wave to the final wave now. I love this music. Also, I love how it says there are builder men. I like how it says that. So I, I wish I could fix this glitch or balloon hollow like fuck. Wait, it falls the path. Well that's weird, I thought it did it. Interesting. Maybe it might not be on this map, maybe it might be on like a new map. I don't know. But yep, that's all for today guys. Um, I guess we'll tell you solo build to survive. I don't know why I'm playing this again. It really isn't that hard. You know, I mean to start the game is hard, but like the end game. Yep, that's it for today's video guys, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed, I am so glad you did. Wow, that's a lot of coins. But, not after like a, an hour worth of your time, not gonna lie. <laughs> 60, uh, 60 minutes and 6 seconds is crazy. Anyways, that's it for today's video, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed, be sure to like and subscribe. And again, thank you all for the subscribers, I hope we can hit our next milestone and hit 100 subscribers. See you guys. Also, this music is kind of fire. You have to agree with me.